Hello, my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. We're back. Thank you for supporting us. We really, really appreciate it. Please don't forget to thumb us up or subscribe. We really need your help to get us to that next 500. Yes. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. I hope your day, your evening is going swell. Now, we're going to talk about um, Ray J. Yes. Okay, he may not be in the hearts <laughs> of you, but I like Ray J. I like Ray J because I think he's attractive. I can't call him cute anymore because I see him as a man. Okay. So I could say that I think Ray J is very attractive. He's got very much sex appeal. I love the way he dressed. However, I have to ask, what in the hell is wrong with Ray J? <laughs> It's like I was looking at him and it's like he had multiple personalities. I didn't even know who was Ray J. Now, before that, before that, I, I he was on Shannon. Yes. Baby Cole, he just fell out of the sky. Baby Cole said, oh, and she was looking at Ray J. And I said, oh, and we got caught up just before we did our video. And I found him fascinating. So I got a lot to say. So let me see if I can get started. First of all, the last time I really heard of Ray J, of course you know yeah. that him and Princess is going through a divorce. If they're saying this time, well, Ray J is saying you never know, but it looked like they're going to go the way. But a lot is going on. He says that he will always be married to princes. He will never, ever, you know, give his love to anybody else. Um, you know, they have horses together. They have children and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So he was talking to um, Shannon, who he asked and he called Shay Shay. And Shannon, I thought, was very, very good. Yes. And I look at Shannon as an interviewer now. I see him as like like a good angel. Okay. Like a like a like a earth angel. All right. Like somebody who's going to be gentle with you, who's going to laugh, who's going his, his etiquette is his he's his etiquette is outstanding. Um, I, I like the way that he blends and, and, and make it gentle, and yet he's aggressive, but knows when to back off. Not I sure. like that. And so he began to open up, but, he, but Shannon was just getting him. And I noticed that Ray J is a very wealthy man, okay? Mm -hmm. I also understand that Ray J talked about it's like he's a hustler it's like he's a it's like it's like he's a man of the street it you you would never know when he was coming up he always was looked at as brandy's brother mm -hmm. he gotten so far from brandy's brother even though they love each other i think that him and brandy are not as cohesive as they used to be because of his lifestyle no doubt but what i want to say to you is this the last time I heard about Ray J, I don't know if it was a year ago, a year and a half ago, and he was talking about how the Kardashians robbed his life, how mm -hmm. they making money. Now, he won't even touch him. No. He won't talk about him. He won't say the only positive that he talked. I think a deal was made. I really do. I think a deal was made and a spell was cast because... I tell you, if Kanye had a spiritual son, it would be Ray J. That's my opinion. I think he is very spiritual. I think he is extra, extra, extra intelligent that he is the new black cabal. Believe that. He knows how to make money. He knows he's he doesn't like the glow on himself. He's the little engine you don't hear coming. I was trying to figure out who is he? Like, who is he? When he talked that, his voice is kind of passive. Mm -hmm. his, his real voice is kind of passive and, and gentle. And so he does everything to camouflage that voice. I watched him. I watched him. I watched him on Shay Shay twice. Then I looked at um, Claudia 
they had something negative to say about him that you know he's you know with his wife and he left her but that's what they do yeah i like them for that it's not good no. but if you don't if you want to be hated then fine but i i like them but i did stand on the side of omar wiggins okay because he didn't leave her alone i get that and um they disagree and the thing about it is None of them on that panel had children. So I don't think you should talk about what you think a pregnant woman is and what a pregnant woman should have when you never had that experience. Right. You can't go by somebody experience. I'm a woman, I had a child and I can tell you, I had my child and I can tell you that I felt as though he didn't leave her alone. Sometimes it's best to leave. He left her in a hotel. She was in the grandest place. She wasn't left homeless or penniless and all that. She just, and this is the one thing that Brandy and the mother had with her. That even when they got married, when she get married, she go to social media and she let out all their business. And this is what his mother had a problem with. This is what their family had a problem with. And so she still do it. She did it then. I don't know about now, but Ray J, but when they said that they was looking at it on a negative, and I certainly agree with um, Wiggins. Yes. So what does that make me? Sometimes it's best to leave. You understand? They was, and She probably was getting exasperated, probably wanted to fight because she knows she's a brawler. So it was best. She probably hit him. You don't know the ins and outs. And I don't think he left her there alone. Okay. Pregnant. I don't. And, and if he did, I think that he knew she would be okay. I really believe that. Now, with that being said, I flip over and I turn on again. And here he is on with the devil himself. <laughs> Who is it? Jason Lee. Jason Lee. And I'm going to tell you, I say what you will about Jason. It's hard to move that man. It is. He is Satan. When I say Satan, I don't mean Satan in an evil way. I won't use the term Satan. I'll just use the word as a devil. What do you mean? Because he's relentless. He doesn't stop. He finds different ways to go after what he wants. He'll break you down and he'll, and he'll laugh. He just sucks you in. You got to be on point on God with him. Yeah. And that was the two differences that I saw between Shay the Shay, Shay Shay, mm -hmm. and what's what his name? Shannon? Yeah, Shay Shay. Oh, Shannon, Shannon. and Jason. And Jason. Jason is like, Shannon is like the good angel. They both are good. Yeah. Because they both are doing spectacular things and getting the news to us, news that's up and coming, that, that's that's what's the moving the shakers, yeah. what's going on, and Ray J is on the rise. He is the next cabal. What do you mean? They're tearing down the old one. I've already talked about this. Mm -hmm. And I know you're gonna be like, no, look at JJ. Look at Ray J. He's changing his name. He not even want to use that anymore. When I looked at him, the only thing is you just don't know who you dealing with. You don't know. It's like he come, he changes. He's animated, yeah. animated, anim animated, animated. He falls on the floor. He 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 doesn't cry. He hasn't cried for once, and a tear rolled down. He's unable to cry, but he's sensitive. He's he's also a hustler. He's uh he he he's a believer in God. He, yeah, that's true. he has faith. He 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 does things and don't want to be seen, but he's an instigator. He's, <laughs> yes. he's he's all these things and what we need in our leaders. It's like he's like, I'll be what you need me to be. Okay. If you need me to be a hustler, then I'll be the hustler, baby. If you need me to be Ray J intended, okay, you know, I, I, I can be that too, you know. If you want me to be the lover, you know, mm -hmm, I don't like doing it, but you know, mm -hmm. you know he could be anything. Right before your eyes, he has perfected that. And I saw him go in and out, and it was so powerful to watch Jason Lee and Ray J 
spa together. Mm -hmm. It was mind boggling to me. Okay. Sure, Carl. It was working on my nerve. My hands called because baby Tom told me to take and go. Okay. Uh, I don't think I fixed you. You got one that looks like it's curling. Like so that. anyway, go ahead. Yes. Um, yeah, you saw all these. You you were engrossed. We were engrossed in rage. The check, right, you got to look at it. Yes, please. But And the fact that they both came out on the same day, basically, or hours apart. It was just perfect. It's like Ray J just like emerged and came out of nowhere. Last time I heard of me was over the Kardashian. A deal was made and a cast, a spell was cast. And because of the old cabal, because he got the idea, he has the antidote for this generation. Now, I don't know about 50 years from now, but for the next 10 years, Ray J is the man. And you may not want to hear it, but he is the man. And like he said, but I can't even hold on to a dollar. He's rich. It's like I'm going to invest it. It'll go up, down, up, down. I didn't believe it. I said, Ray J can't be wealthy. He can't. But then I went and I looked at his Bianca, his Balenciaga t-shirt. Oh, yes. It was over a thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. No. Cat Williams did that. Yeah, Cat Williams said. It's the season for the short brothers. <laughs> I'm I think telling you're right. you. It's the season for the short brothers. And I'm telling you, you don't believe me? Look at it. And I'm telling you, he kept throwing me off. But what he has taught me is the new age is not going to be like that. We're going to be messed up. Okay. We're going to be all over the place. Because that's what you got to be to deal with people. Okay. You can't. And, and Cat Williams, he was giving money away. Mm -hmm. They both are doing the same thing. Yeah. They understand the art of having is the art of giving. Yes. And this is what the girls haven't recognized yet. Mm -hmm. Kimberly. Yeah. Well, I should put them in their proper order. Okay. Beyonce. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Beyonce. Rihanna and Kim. They haven't learned that. They're still taking. These are the men that's willing to give. Not to the rich, but to give you and me and everybody else a chance. Mm -hmm. If you got it, we got it because they know humble beginnings. Even though Ray J wasn't poor, he understand what it was like to deal with that femininity and to be called Ray J's bro I mean. Brandy's little brother. He's no longer Brand Randy's little brother. And when I looked at him for the first time, I saw a man. That's a good. man. I do. And, and, and why I want to read on him. I want to read on him because I want to know, do he have a mental ailment? Okay. I, I'm just starting to be worried about people's mental health. As we should in these days. Yeah, you know what, Cat Williams can argue me down up the street and around again. I'm going to go. I'd love me some Cat Williams. But Cat Williams is angry. Okay. He'll say he's not. Because when you've been angry so long, you don't even know you're angry. That's just normal for him. But he's angry. How angry? I don't know. Angry enough that he always sounds like he's fussing. Fair enough. He sound like he's scolding. Even if, but I, he's funny because the things he say are so profound and he says it and it's the way he says yes. it. It's his animated look. He'll give you a look. He'll do something. It's the way he does it. And, the, and I'm telling you, he's so animated. And the same thing about Ray Animated. He's, they both are so animated. Animated. Oh, so, you know what? Maybe that could just be an earth sign thing because Cat Williams is a Virgo and um, <clears throat> Ray J is, is, is a Capricorn. Yeah. You sure? Yes, I'm positive. Mm -hmm. So that could just be something earth signs are just animated. And remember, the cat is ruled by who, baby? The devil. The devil. Mm -hmm. And Ray J fits the role, but he's not a devil. He's a sweetheart. He really is. And when he talked about, he explained about Diddy. 
and why is it some things are just unforgivable yes and he said only in other words he didn't excuse nobody for what they did mm -hmm. he explained because jason lee asked him why you know is this so hard he said because this went on for nine years i've been at the parties and in my face i never seen it mm -hmm. so you deceived all of us and this woman went through this for nine years trapped and couldn't get away with this man but even when she did, we can go into the little nuances or when she would, why did she go? We can get into all that. Yeah. But being addictive, there is an addictive love. There is. I told you I'm addicted with the Kardashian. <laughs> yeah. So you can be addicted on some things. You may say, oh, I can get over yes, but why put myself in misery when I'm just going to be like wondering? Mm -hmm. They can go off. When they went off for a while, I had peace. Yeah, we did. But the drug came back. But they're playing on that. Yeah. But what they also knowing is, is that even I get tired and say, I had enough. So I want to know, does Ray J have issues? He is the new black cabal. He is going to be a force in Hollywood. He's already a force. Mm -hmm. We just didn't see him coming. That's just true. like you didn't see Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. And he even gave acknowledgement to Cat Williams. Yeah. He even said on the on the um Shade Club on Shannon Club said this is the days of unrevealing. Yes, he's he revealing himself. He tells how he got his millions, how he makes it, how he loses it. He's just a wealthy man. Yes. How he got business with um his wife. Mm -hmm. It's just mind staggering of the brilliance of Ray J. He done, I'm blown away. But I didn't see Ray J a kid. I saw Ray J a man on both episodes. Watch again. I want to know, is this man highly spiritual or is he bipolar? Okay. You mood disorder. Let me say that. A mood disorder. I see a fiery king. I see the dice. A Barry King. Barry mean, mean he's on point. He's on fire. He's energetic. He filled with ideas. The whole time he was naming shows, coming up with names, because that's what he said he's good at. He loved Ratchet TV, and he want to take Ratchetness to a new level, and he should, because they these people should be recognized for what they do, because they bring us entertainment once a week, where a movie, you see it, it stay in the theater for a month, and it's gone. Here, you can look at it on streaming. I think he got a point. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he's very innovative. Got a lot of fire. What do you have, baby? Yes, he's willing to take the chance. And it's like you said, in order to make money, you got to spend money. And sometimes mm -hmm. you might not make the right investments when it comes to. That's yeah, all about It's all about finding that pulse and what the people like. Right. Finding the pulse. So, but if Ray J had a problem or a block, what would it be? I see a woman. A woman that stand off. A woman that's a woman that said it like, I love us, I love you, but I can't, I don't know if I can handle it anymore. And I know that Ray J is a lot to deal with. I saw all those many different personalities. He has perfected every last one of them. That I don't know who the real Ray J is. I think it's the one that talked, the, the, the one that has the what is the, I don't want to say feminine. Passive? The one who has the more passive voice. Because that's who he is by nature. He's a big hearted person. He's a giving person. And he's a visionary. And I think his wife here is, 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 is just done. Because I see here, this is, what is that, Pisces? Yes. So I see definitely water. She's watered out. What's her sign? Princess. Um, let me see. I want to say she's a water sign. She's watered out. She love him. But she's sick of him. She's sick not of him, but of him. Ah, she's a Leo. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes, that's right. I remember. We'll so suffering. she done burnt that woman water. The water is dry. Ah. Ooh. 
<laughs> She's dry, okay? She let her hair out. I'm serious. I watched this man. He is consuming. He is a consuming ball of fire. He is consuming. He needs somebody like me <laughs> that can keep up with that, but I'm fire. Yeah. But, and then to his heart, I see the fool. And he is right because he believes it takes a fool to rush in. Only a fool understands to make money, you have to spend money. And if you're afraid to spend it, you'll never be where he's at. This is the same sentiment that Cat, Cat has. Mm -hmm. You got to give it. Yeah. You can't hoard it. Mm -hmm. Teaching me, because I'll hoard a dollar. You hear me? But over top of his head, again, I think it's his wife, Fire. She got a stronghold over him. We could believe it. A stronghold. She's watery. It's a wateriness about her, a tenderness. But over him, she consumes his mind. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And she's fired. And she's in his mind morning, noon, and night. She has, she dropped, <coughs> but she's up in his noggin. You hear me? Because the whole time he talk about princes, princes, mm -hmm. princes, 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 yeah. and my kids. Mm -hmm. And here you see princess. She's the one who did these out. How you see the kids? How you do this in this house? She wears the pants in the household. I believe it. She wears the pants in the household. Exactly. And now for the basis, what is he standing on? Huh. What do you have? Oh, read all you yes. have. I'm oh, sorry. Please well, give me okay. 10 stuck on my candy. <laughs> okay. Because I'm getting hungry. Oh, okay. Um, we have the burden, which is his problem. And go figure, that burden is princess. We see it all in this reading. Even when he was on Shay Shay. Yes. Princess. Mm -hmm. He also has, uh, I'm not sure if the right word is that he has a respect for women. He does have a respect for women. Okay, because that's what I was getting when he was playing this this uh, messy Jason over here, playing like this smash pass game. He ain't gonna play that at all. No, he did not. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that gave me a new sight to see Ray J. It's and you know why he didn't want to do, I felt, the reason why he didn't want to do Vivica Fox, because but Vivica Fox reminded me of a young virgin of his mother or a virgin of his mother. Oh, okay. That's what that's what Vivica Fox reminded me of. Got you. For me. Um, so what I see here for the bottom was it finished with the car. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. okay. No, I can eat my candy. Go ahead. <laughs> um, on the left hand side on where the heart is, we have the wise old owls. Mm -hmm. So he's consulting with somebody about how he feels. You know, it could be somebody higher up. What, what do you call it? Like spiritual. He could seek spiritual guidance to help him navigate through the physical world, which would be very fitting for a Capricorn mm -hmm. in some instances because they can be a little too earthly. However, we see a well runs deep and that is no matter what he's going through with Princess, it's, he's like, it's me and Princess till I die, you know. And nothing wrong with that. Although it seems like he has done some wrong things to Princess, and Princess seems like she's currently fed up with him at the moment. Mm -hmm. But that's just the relationship. Like he said, we'll see. We have the roses right here, and this is how he feels towards her. He just wants to show her love. I guess she run the house. Yeah, please. She got that claw on him. She got a claw on him. Okay. Does. And maybe because of that, we see all these different masks mm -hmm. that he could portray, literally. Maybe because he's done so much, done so many things that, like, maybe he's trying to find himself, or maybe he does know himself. You know and himself. he used these masks to, like, get him what he needs for at that moment. To like, get a job done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they 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 um gingers. I, I love these um they are good. gingers. I need to bring mine in. You want one? Yes. Thank you. What he's doing is because of all these masks, being in the street, being in the game, 
doing this at 13 years old, 14. Same thing with um cat. cat. And I can identify with both of these cats because they are brilliant. And I know that people say, Ray J, he is the new cabal. I'm telling you, he's the new cabal. And you got to understand, Jason Lee acknowledged the fact that he's packing. And he gave him a, uh, the what is that, the squash? Oh, the mm -hmm. purple squash. Yeah. Gave him that. Um, and to name a couple of names. Nick Cannon was one. And what was it? Offset? Who was one? Um, it was one. I know Nick Cannon. And it was another name. Oh, Shafari was one. Uh, and I thought that he, and it was another one. I thought it was somebody by Amigos, but I'm not sure. But he named them. I could be wrong. But I know he named Nick Cannon. I know that he named um, Shafari. And, and him. So he named them. And I think it was somebody else he named. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So all of these things that Ray J have, he good looking, he packing. He's about, what, five, six? So he's really short, but he's not sure for somebody like me who's five, three. And so, you know, there's a lot of, oh, wow. He, he really isn't that short. He's five, seven. See, they, they may be lying, but he, but for a man, mm -hmm. that he could be short. short. Mm -hmm. You understand? Five, six, five, seven, because they want you to be five, nine, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, especially when your average height for a female is about five, five. Or five, six, mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, I I, 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 I I like that, but let me get to my point. So my point is, I want to know right now, do Ray J have... I don't say multiple personalities. Do he deal with a lot of personalities? Okay. See a five. Navigation. I see a war. A sexy man. I see that, and I'm going to lay one more. <laughs> In the home. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Um, I definitely can say that he would have some form of multiple personalities, but really it's just the different faces that he has, mm -hmm. like I said. Depending to get a mask to get depending on getting a task done. We have the navigation right here, which means if, if it gets me where I need to go, I'll play the mask. Yeah. I'll play that sexy man. I'll play that man that's got it all together. Or maybe that man that can um, maybe mess you up in the head a little bit, you know. And then he can play that home man, that family body, that home body. He's just like, whatever I need to, I can be in the world. Or I can be home however I need it to be, basically. That's his different personalities. Whatever he needs to get a job done. What I have here, mine also start with a five. Read it, Taurus and Mercury. So Mercury is very hot. But if you look at it, he's outside. He's outside because he loves outside. He loves a good time. No matter probably what the season is, he want to be out and about among the people. However, his house is lit. So you see, it ain't poor in there, okay? Here, I see that he will fight to the depth for something he believes in. He will give his last for something he believes in. However, I do see that the past haunts him. Whatever he's done in his past, it shows that he keep going to his past and he'll get real dark. And I see that that's, he, 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 when he gets in his past, he gets dark. Because he look at the things that he did. He worries about his daughter seeing things. He worries about his children seeing it. He feels as though he did some things in the past that he's ashamed of. But, but as you can see here, you see that his past still precedes him. The things, and I think what he's saying is the things I've done, the things I've seen, the people I've been around. And I think he's saying, I done saw some things, y'all, I could never tell you. I know things I can't talk about, and that grieves my soul. And all I want to do is be a good man. I want to change my name. I, I, I want to be a good man. I want to. I want to show the world how I made it, how you can make it. I'm not trying to rip you off, take anything. I'm these ratchet workers. I, I'm ratchet TV. I love it because that's real for me. And you know what? I want to pay them what they work. I want them to be recognized. He is. He, he's for the underdog. 
That's how he's coming off. Mm -hmm. And I and I respect him because when he was talking, I could relate. I could relate. And he said, you know, one of the things that I'm a, I don't tell nobody this. I get I get this. Yeah, you know, they say I'm big, but he said, but look at my height. And he was trying to measure it. It didn't work. But he did say this. I don't get as erect as people think I do for every woman like that. It takes a special kind. And we know that special kind is what? Princess. So, but we know his past precede him. Okay? So princes probably don't trust him. Mm -hmm. Because he done did a lot of damage to princes. Yeah. You understand? And they done did damage to them to each other. Okay? But I think he has matured in his past, and I think that when he think of his past, it grieves him. What he done to his marriage, what he's done to his wife, I think it grieves him. What he's done to his family, what he's done to his sister, it just seemed like I. It just seemed like it just seemed like he lived in a world where it's just big enough for me, Ray J. Okay. I'm just out there, got things to do. I got to make it right. He is the new cabal. But let me go. I want to know, does he have mental ailment? Those kings keep coming. No matter what, I can't escape them. I just know that it is. I know. Pick baby card. Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I just wanted to know. I want to know because I'm looking at him in the road too, baby car. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, yeah. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> Go on, give it. You want me to read or you want to go? Um, I, I can start off first. We have the mountain, which maybe represents you could have mental block or sometimes have like creative or artistic blocks because of a mountain is just a mountain. It's hard to get over a mountain and go around a mountain. Sometimes you don't even know how. Yeah. The baby Kong was had a, a big old mountain and I like a boulder, big, huge, huge. And she was like, I remember spiritually, we was talking, she said, I don't know how to get around it. She was sad about it. Uh, I definitely was. But um, you finally did it. Yes, I did. Through, <laughs> through meditation and finding myself. But we have the and, little... And, and mama. Yes, of course, mama helped me realize that that's what my mental block was. Um, then we have the loyal dog right here, which symbolizes his commitment to the public because mm -hmm. we also have the open garden. He loves the public. He really does love the public. Yeah. And maybe he's a little too obsessive about how the public perceives him. Yeah. And for that, that could be why we see many various faces about him. He's just and trying to cover up the past too. He's like, yeah, know about my past. So I'm trying to change that. Say I'm a different person. Like, yeah, I can tap into that if I want to, but do I really want to kind of stuff. So when I see Ray J, the question I want to know is there are multiple personalities. I've seen them come out. I, I think that everybody watched it will be amazing. Like you, you'd be like, just please, if you don't want to watch Shannon because she's wrong, watch Jason Lee. Jason Lee. Oh my God. If you could just watch the way both of them deal with them, it's mind blowing. They both are exquisite at their craft. Yes, you can are. say what you want to say about Shannon. I will go on Shannon's show before I go with Jason Lee. That's Why? True. Because Jason Lee is a pit bull. He, yes. he ain't relentless. He, he ain't, he show no mercy. Okay. And I love that about him because he's going to get a job done. He will. And that shows me that they are working for the betterment too. Jason Lee is working for the betterment for good too. In spite of all their faults, mm -hmm. he's working for the betterment of their good today. Because I don't know what is tomorrow going to be. Because we know that any moment, anyone can slip and fall into darkness. That but today, true. Jason Lee is definitely working for the good. You can tell by the way he go for his interview, mm -hmm. how he going for the, how he go in to bring them down. It's the way he do it. He does it tenderly. He, he does. does it with compliments over compliments. And Shay Shay does the same thing. They know how to break you. They good. So whoever said that they're not, they just got two ways of doing it. Um, Shannon comes off as a very hard, masculine um, beast, brute. Yes. But he's got the heart of gold. Mm -hmm. um, Jason. Jason 
appears to be gentle as a dove, but he's a beast. He's like a beast and he don't play, but we need them. Mm -hmm. We need both of them. So when he left from Shannon and went to Jason, that's how we saw him. Yeah. Mind blown. And in the middle, Claudia and the crew, they, they were in balance though, but I like that because I was on um, Armand, Armand Wiggins. Wiggins' side. And so, but that was a balance because that let me know at all at simultaneously, they all were talking about Ray J. And I was like, when did he come? When did he get this big? You mean Ray J is big? That's why he didn't shoot his summer. It just mind blowing. Yes. Look at the interview. So in my reading, I see, yes. I'm going to tell you exactly what I see. I see, yes. I see that he done had a mental break. Somewhere in his life. Maybe nobody don't know. Maybe he don't know. I see him that he goes through bouts of down where he gets down and depressed. I see it over here and I think it has a lot to do with his wife. I think she's got a lot of control on him because he gave her his mind. Mm -hmm. And he gave her his mind. Why? You never give nobody your mind. You don't. But he gave her his mind. And I think somehow in my reading, say what you want in my reading, I think she broke him. Something isn't right because he feels as though that I'll, oh, even if she marries someone else, what he doesn't understand is love is messy. You can love more than one person you can only want one person at a time truly. Okay. You can have multiple lovers, but you can only be in love with one because love, love demands that. Yes. That is now true. you may say, I'm in love with two people. Okay. But if they got really sticky, which one would you choose? Mm -hmm. You would choose, you would choose the weaker one before you choose the strong one. This is what I've observed. Because this weaker one is always going to be there. The stronger one will go. And this is where he's at with her. So it's like I'm, I'm learning. In other words, I'm learning to let her go. I'm learning to accept it. I'm learning that if she's, I mean, Shannon is falling all over the chair. If she sleep with, he, if she sleep with six men, and I slept with six men, six women the day before. And she sleep with six men the day after. We even. But if she sleep with seven, I get that. Yeah. But the idea, no, you can get over it. Life goes on. You cannot do that. You're stifling yourself. Okay. And that's maturity. So if you want to read... Phone treasure chest. I got you. But I see this and I see that he's either headed for a tower moment or he's already had one. And I think that when he gets depressed, I think it stifles his um, creativity because water drowns out fire. Yes. And I think that in even on top, I see mourning. I think he goes through bouts of depression. And if he doesn't learn to get, because I kept on seeing him getting confused with the people, promoting, keeping that up, keeping that facade, keeping all those people together in your head, it's about to drive him into a loony bin. Did you see it? Yeah. It's like he's got a different face for every but age. You gotta watch it. It's. Why? Like, honestly. And yet, when it comes down to friction, he knows how to cool an argument. Yes, he does. But he's bound inside with all these different personalities that he has created over the years. And so now I am left with, will the real Ray J please stand up? I don't think he knows who he is. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the son, the, the, the Ray J that he was ashamed of, that he was trying to hide, that didn't get him no respect. You know, Ray J, the fattest. Ray J, the mess up. 
But Ray J is a money mogul. <laughs> yes. That's why he's out. And I believe that the Kardashians had a curse on them. And I believe they made a deal. They removed it. And he's going to be the best he can be. But Ray J, as far as the cause, he can say what he want to say. I see what I see. Mm -hmm. They said, believe half of what you see. I see what I see. I hear what I hear. Okay? That's all I got. Yeah. I see and I hear. And it's coming from him from my TV. Yes, that is true. And I'm telling you, it's like he feels like he's drowning and overwhelmed. I see him get stuck. I seen him get stuck and pull out another personality. But I think that that is coming up and he's going to crack or he's going to have to let it go and start being to all these personalities that he has created over the years, as Baby Phone said, to get what he wants, to get where he wants. You don't know where the real Ray J is. And this is real talk. Okay. This is real talk. I'm serious about this. Am I serious? Is this real? The emperor. The emperor. Am I real? Not the king. The king of swords. So we have a king of fire, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the emperor. That means this is somebody who owns dynasties. But Ray J came out as the king of fire. Right. He came out as the king of fire, but the emperor, mm -hmm. fire. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Aries. And here, here he is again, the king of air. Why would he be the, and the king of water? Why? Because he's mastering elements. He's mastering his equilibrium with these different phases. Oh, I feel like I'm saying something deep. He's mastering his personality. I remember when I was reading, um, I was reading on, uh, not Kanye. Who was it that I was reading? Uh, Martin Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I had a hard time. The cause was because he was hiding. Very masculine energy hiding. But in here, Ray J is open. Yeah. He's open. And I see that, I see that, there it is again. He's very enlightened. But the way he's talking in and out of these things, that even the voice change. Yeah. Not only does that change, but the voice, please watch and see for yourself. Yeah. This is not an act. No, it is impressive. It's impressive. And you could see him go through that bouts of depression, snap out into another one. And then he'd be like, no, nah, nah, nah. I was trying I watched him twice on Shannon. I watched him um, and once with, uh, which was Jeez. late at that time, because, you know, that was like about, what, six hours? But Yeah, all together. And I was like, I don't want to get on and say something. I say this with all my chest. And I got enough chest. <laughs> okay? And last, uh, baby, mm -hmm. come. Yes, the high priest. Go ahead and say it. That's yeah. that moon. Go ahead, yeah. baby. Go Definitely, ahead. like you said, mastering the different phases. Mastering and the different phases. phases of himself. Genius. He is a genius. I had to do that shadow work or inner work. But I see that he, if he doesn't slow down, fix it, if he haven't already had one, a mental break. Because I see his personalities are emerging with each other. It's Ray J gonna lose it i'm gonna let you read i tell you i i'm gonna tell you what i said and then you take it okay what i said then we'll do the final what i see on here i know this is a long read but i'm sorry what i see on this one is fire keeps moving he's burning himself out it's lead to, it has led him to great heartache. All this energy, he's like a hyperactive child, but he's a grown man. He doesn't act like a grown man. He don't talk like a grown man, but the way he's so agile and move, he comes off the way his movements are, are like a kid, but he's not a kid. And yet I see he leans on his inner strength and all those different personalities or personas he have on himself, it helps him to be the king. And the queen he needs to be to get a job done. Baby Crumb. Okay. Let's see for um, the final question. Well, it wasn't the final question, but is Ray Shay cracking? 
phone. Okay. Well, we have the death card to symbolize a transformation mm -hmm. and revamping or renewing himself. Mm -hmm. Maybe hopefully he can merge these personalities into one, or maybe he had to separate them all just to figure out. You got to do something that's too much. Yes. And then we have this child card. I'm not sure if he has to heal his inner child or he's yeah. doing this for his child. I think we only need one. Will the real Ray J stand up? You don't have to prove it. You already made it. You at the top of your game, my brother. Go mm -hmm. ahead. And then we have the ship card, which symbolizes a moving on. But whatever it is, it's going to be financially, it's going to be financially good for him. So mm -hmm. basically, to sum it up, it, is he going to break? If he does, maybe he'll find a way to re-mold it together and move on from this situation because his ultimate goal is to make that money. So, And my question is, bottom card, always fire. Out there still looking for another venture, another way to make money, another way to invest. It's not about the money. It's okay. about him. If money is sitting around, it's a sin. You shouldn't be sitting around with money. You should be investing in it. True. And not being afraid. He taught me a lot. So my question is, is Ray J the new cabal? Okay. I see the hermit. And the hermit is somebody, in my opinion, very wise. He carries a light because it's the light that's within him. And wherever the hermit is, it's always seeking to teach. It's seeking to know. It's seeking to expand. But the hermit is a very wise man. And another deck is not called the hermit. It's called the old man. And the hermit is a wise old man. Yeah. Very wise. Mm -hmm. Full of light. Full of it. And they, and they seek wisdom and they help. And some of them, he carries a staff. And some of them, it has a serpent around them. Different cards have different meanings. But this is a very wise man. Mm -hmm. Very wise. Top card, he's wow. about happiness. He's about being joyful. He's about, but he goes through bouts of depression. And it's right under this. That he leans on his inner strength. And when it gets too bad, he can't cope. But this is probably something that his wife knows about him. I don't know, but she's got a hold on him. And I'm not saying it's wrong because that's his wife. I'm yeah. not saying it's wrong. And he probably got a hold on her too. They just probably locked in the vice. Baby, come. Yes. Um, what I see here is I was a little bit stumped about the mates of birds right here. So I'm just like, if he was a cabal. Does this mean he's connecting with people to make one? And then I saw the contract, which definitely is putting that seal of officiality into, or an initiation into some type of um, cabal. Because either he's, cre like you said, maybe he's like the new cabal or creating a new league of his own. A, a cabal and a way of the way the old Hollywood is fumbling. Hollywood is coming down and there's a new group of people that's coming up that's going to raise up a standard when we get rid of the Jay-Z's, when we get rid of the Beyonce's and uh, all of these, the Kims and the, all these Taylor. people that the tail, no, uh, well, not the fact that they, what they're doing. I don't know of Taylor doing anything mean to anybody, that's true. but I can't say that about Jay-Z and Beyonce. That is true. I don't, I can't say that about um, Kim. I, I definitely can't say that about Kim, but I can't say that about um, um, Rihanna okay. because they're out there milking us for more money. That is true. So I can't say that, but I don't see Kayla out there doing this. If she is, let me know that she belongs, but she's not a part of this. She in a whole nother thing to me. But she's probably the youngest out of them all, though, because she's, what, 34? Yeah, you're right. She is the youngest out of them all. She doesn't have a child. All of them have children. Yeah. So we, the truth is going to come out about her, too. We'll yeah. see. 34. Okay. So, but what I do see for this wise old man, it's about peace and joy and love and happiness. 
This is what it's about for him. Peace, joy, love, and making that money with a whole lot of soul. <laughs> yes. And do you have anything to say to that? Um, no, I do not. So please subscribe. Yes. If you made it this far, oh, please, please, thank please you. subscribe. Thumb us up. At least. I know it's a long video, but I had a lot to say. I didn't know it was going to be this long. I found them fascinating. Please, don't let what you see of Ray J fool you. Yes. I truly believe he made a deal with the Kardashians. And for whatever deal, he can't mention them anymore. Yes. At least not in the negative. And I'm not, and I'm not going to lie. It seems like whenever some man messes with the Kardashians, they just don't come out right afterwards. And with that being said, I, I, I got to cut it short. I love you. Yes. Please subscribe. Please, I love you and your impact on this. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. This was powerful. I have more to say, but I'm almost an hour. I got to go. I love you. Thank you for thumbing us up. And with that, sunflowers.